Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, we're going to talk about directional terminology. These are terms that are used in anatomy or in medicine to talk about the relationship of one structure in the body from another structure in the body, for example. Um, and the thing to keep in mind is usually in anatomy, when we're talking about the human body like this, the body is in the anatomical position. And that is feet standing straight up, like normal, the feet shoulder width apart, arms down to the sides. And the only thing that's kind of weird about it is that the person's hands are turned so that they're facing, so the palms are facing forward. That's the anatomical position. Let's get to the terms. Um, let's see, let's do superior and inferior. Superior means towards the top of the body or upward. Inferior means going downward. There are um, some other words that mean the same thing. Cranial is the same thing as superior. And caudal is the same thing as inferior. Uh, by the way, cranial makes sense, obviously, right? Going up to the cranium, to the top. Um, caudal means going towards the tail. Um, usage of these. Let's play. Um, let's see my belly button. My belly button is inferior to my sternum. It's down compared to my sternum. Um, and my sternum is superior to my belly button, for example. Let's do the next set. Um, anterior. Whoops. If I can get my hands to work right while I'm trying to think anterior and posterior anterior means towards the front of the body and posterior means towards the back of the body there's also two words that mean the same thing at least in humans um, anterior we also sometimes say ventral and for posterior dorsal And by the way, for all of these terms that have two words representing them, um, here's one piece of why that is. Imagine a horse or a dog, maybe. There's my poorly drawn horse. Um, they've got a belly, of course, but their spine is on the horizontal. In humans, we stand upright, right? So the belly, for example, faces forward, faces in the anterior direction. In the horse of the dog, ventral would be downward, and dorsal or towards the back would be upward, whereas anterior would be going towards the nose of the horse, and posterior or caudal would be going towards the back. So these are not just an anatomy terms, they're also biology terms, so that's why there's two for each of these ones, and that's why they're equal, at least when it comes to humans. Or at least that's a piece of it. Okay, so we got superior, inferior, anterior, posterior. Let's do medial and lateral. Actually, before I move on to medial and lateral, I didn't actually show you what anterior and posterior mean. So um, let's play with anterior and posterior for a second. If I turn sideways, my nose is anterior to my cheek and my cheek is posterior to my nose for medial and lateral medial means going towards the center line of the body if you imagine a line drawn straight down through the center that's the most medial point um, one organ that is very medial is the sternum it's a bone in the middle of your chest so that's very medial um, lateral means going away from that center line, moving away from center. So my shoulder compared to my sternum, my shoulder is lateral to my sternum. My sternum is medial to my shoulder. And that's medial and lateral. Let me give myself some room. We get a few more of these to do. Let's do proximal. Proximal and distal. 
Whoops. Proximal, here we're talking about along a limb, like the arm. Proximal would be along the limb towards the torso of the body. And distal would be along the limb away from the body or away from the torso of the body. So example, staying with my arm, my wrist is distal to my elbow. And my elbow then is proximal to my wrist. That's proximal and distal. And I think we have one more set to do, and that is deep and superficial. Deep, meaning literally deeper inside of the body, and superficial, meaning more towards the surface of the body. So again, just to give you um, the way we might use these, um, my heart is very much deep to my skin. And the skin is very much superficial to my heart. Or to get two organs close together just for fun, the heart is deep to the sternum. The sternum is superficial to the heart. And I think that's all of the terms. Let's see, I did anterior and posterior. I did superior and inferior, medial and lateral, proximal and distal. And then we did deep and superficial. So I think those are at least the major directional terms that are used in anatomy. Let's do a bit of a knowledge quiz just to make sure you understand these. Um, let's see, using my body as an example, where is my pectoralis muscle in, release, in relation to my sternum? And the answer to that is my pectoralis muscle is lateral to my sternum. It's also a bit more superficial, by the way, so if you said it's superficial to the sternum, good on you. Um, how about my umbilicus, my belly button, compared to my chin? The belly button or umbilicus, umbilicus is inferior to the chin or caudal to the chin. And the chin is superior to the belly button or cranial to the belly button. How about um, my phalangeal bones in relation to my wrist bones? The phalangeal bones would be distal to my wrist bones. And my wrist bones are proximal to the phalangeal bones. How about um, my nose in relation to my zygomatic bone? And the answer there is my nose is anterior to my zygomatic bone. And for, for those of you thinking deeper maybe, um, you could say that my nose is also medial to my zygomatic, zygomatic bone. So it's anterior, my nose is anterior medial. You can mix the words together. The nose is anterior medial to the zygomatic bone. Um, just for another fun one where you mix them, the eye in relation to the tip of the nose. So the eye would be superior lateral to the nose, and the nose would be um, inferior and um, medial to, so inferior medial to the eyeball. Sorry, I'm mixing them up. I, don't, I hope that doesn't confuse you. Um, have I done all of them? Oh, let's do um, the stomach in relation to the ribs. Where is the stomach in relation to the ribs? And the answer to that is the stomach is deep to the ribs. Um, or you could say that the ribs are superior to the stomach. They're slightly higher. At least most of the ribs are higher than the stomach. So you could say this, the ribs are superior to the stomach. The ribs are also superficial to the stomach. Or the stomach is deep to the ribs. So we've done inferior. We've done 
we do medial and lateral? Yeah, we're all talking up here. We did. Let's do a more specific medial and lateral. Where is my sternum in relation to my shoulder? And the answer to that is my sternum is medial to my shoulder. So my shoulder is lateral to my sternum. Quiz yourself on these to make sure you get all of these terms and can use them. That's the most important thing is can you use them? I'll give you one more example on how they get used in real life. Um, so you could be talking about a lesion, maybe a tumor or a, um, or a burn or something like that. And where is it on the body? Um, so let's say I've got a burn here. What would you say? And what you could say in the objective here is you should be able to describe this to somebody without them seeing the patient or be able to write it down in words in a way that when the person is there with the patient, they can find this thing. So if the burn is here, I could say they have a superficial burn that is proximal to the wrist and distal to the elbow. It's right between the two. Um, and depending on the severity of the burn, you might say it's deeper or it's more superficial. Anyway, those are the major types of... Uh, directional terms used in anatomy. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you once again for watching.